yourself bloody nerdigans this is the one and only packer girl 89 of nerdigans inc and today's manga nerdigan lab reaction video is going to be for eden zero chapter 274 but before i get into this recap and live reaction we are at war with youtube's algorithm and it is slowly but surely killing my channel and in order to defeat this uh um algorithmic beast we need you to please hit that like share and subscribe buttons and because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep me, my adorable Will Bubba Key right here, and this operation literally alive and kicking, so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So... So now, up in here, up in Eden Zero, we are going to be learning um, how Mother Earth formed into Mother. I'm really looking forward to that. But the other thing that's interesting about this whole thing is we got confirmation last chapter that Shiki is, um, is Witch's baby. I'm so happy about that. Thank God. Because that makes this even more interesting uh, for me. But God damn it. Ugh. I'm not gonna lie, this it frustrates me a little bit because you could have had you could have had the reveal that um uh that Weiss is uh um is Laguna's father and it would have totally foreshadowed this too. I still don't need that shit. I know people give me shit for it, but I just want it. <laughs> because we don't know who Laguna's father um Laguna's father is. We don't know. I, I just, I need that shit in my life. But anyways, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. And this chapter is titled Earth's Destruction. Here we go. So yes, the Earth, the, the earth is um, about to uh, blow up from all the pollution and all the wars and all that. But, hmm. The volcanoes are erupting. The Earth is quaking. The buildings are get, being destroyed. Oh, shit. Cataclysmic disasters are occurring all over the globe. Is this the long prophesized end of days? Well, where's Jesus in all this? <laughs> if that's true, where are the other angels in all this? Doc! No, not Doc! Not the clown! What are you doing here? I was getting the patients to safety and I guess I missed my own chance to escape. For goodness sakes, I'm so clumsy. That's so like you. The ship! Oh! Now it's my turn to save you. What? But Ivory, I mean, I don't know if it's possible to save anyone from all this, but Yuna's lab is nearby and we could take shelter there. Ooh. Ah! There's Valkyrie! And Brigadine! So the government, so the government never did authorize our proposal. Um, a plan to send the Earth into overdrive, um, uh, any normal person would think you're out of your mind. This is a, a very logical plan, Mr. Howard. Uh, Dr. Yuna's theories are, are flawless. You don't need to convince me, kiddos. I'm just a surfer. I don't get, I don't get all the egghead sciencey stuff. But I know that if Yuna says something, it's got to be right. Now that you mention it, we don't really know how it works either. Um, we think we're, um, we think we've been helping, but it's also complicated. God, they're so cute! Oh my god, they're so cute! We take the Earth, Earth's ether to its critical point, which I believe will result in the Earth going into overdrive. And overdrive is, uh, let's say it's a state of ether saturation. This is so beautiful, Bashima. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. I predict that the Earth will change its shape, and for a while it will go into a sort of hibernation. Well, that explains a lot. Um, during that time, the other self-purification effects should kick in, and that will put an, a stop to all of these natural disasters. And you said the government is against it? But if we don't do something, it could be the end of the world. I don't need the government's permission. I fully intend to go forward with this plan. Yeah, fuck the government! I've hacked into every organization and agency and set up the system to send uh, the ether out of control. Everything is in place and ready to go. The large, um, Hadron co uh, wait, the large, uh, Hadron Collide, wait, the large ha Hadron Collider? I can't believe you hacked into that! Um, is everybody in? 
You know, I've never got against you. I'm always ready to ride your wave. <laughs> Too. I believe that your logic is correct, Dr. Yuna. Let's save the world. I wouldn't even be here if you hadn't saved my life. I'll risk that life for you. Who cares about the law? <laughs> Who cares about the law? <laughs> We're saving humanity. We want to give this little guy a future. We're in. Oh, here we go. There's Times Square. It says emergency up on there. And there's Ziggy. A dying planet think instead of finding mother, I would end up on this world of death. Life signs? Hmm. <gasps> Human corpses. The life signs are from this baby? Shiki, ooh! There it is, Shiki. What? Wait, what? What is this I'm feeling? This baby, who is this child? And what happened to these humans? Now what? The ooh, it worked. The Earth is rising off the charts. Ah, duh, there it goes. There's Mother, the birth of Mother. What am I seeing? The birth of Mother is what you're seeing. But so next chapter, what we're gonna see here is we're gonna see. What happened to the star, like how the star shines came to be, maybe to an extent how the dark shines came to be too, but we're going to see how the star shines came to be. But I still, uh, I still want to be like part of the thing being for, um, mother, you know, turning back into earth is that the ether that like the uh, star shines have returned to where it came, which is, which is the earth. But now there's a... Now there's even more reasons for Valkyrie to not feel like she belongs in this history. And technically, um, Hermit and uh, Sister should feel the same way. Technically. But I'm very curious what you guys think of this. Um, so yeah, Ziki did save Shiki. He saved himself, kind of. That, that's the best way to put it. So he saved Shiki. And now we're seeing the birth of Mother, but this explains why Mother has been um, in a uh, hibernative state. That explains a lot. But I'm curious what you guys think is going to happen uh, from here, um, especially to return Mother to her uh, true form, which is Earth. I, again, I really want a Fire Force situation. I do. Um, where in order... well. Part of um, turning the um, Earth back to where it was before, you know, being destroyed involves um, involves returning the ether to hence it came. I do, I do agree with that. But the other thing, though, is too, if Earth does return, just like with Fire Force, um, what uh, what Shimra had to do was I'm spoiling a deal with it. What Shimra um, had to do was. Um, move time he was able to move time forward so i wonder if that's the same if we're going to have something similar here with uh with rebecca that she would have because earth being reborn means you know going through a loop in time technically so if we have that situation where um where rebecca uses her power to um especially since there's so much ether here and rebecca uses that power to uh, her you know, her cat leaper power to, um, restore earth to how it was like way prior to the, um, uh, to, uh, earth turning into mother. I would not be mad at that. I would not. I feels correct. I'm very curious what you guys think, um, in regards to that. Do you guys think, are you guys on the same page as me where this is going to be a fire force situation? I, which I really would like to see. I'd like to see Mashima's take on fire for on um, fire forces, uh, ending. I really would. Um, or, um, do you think that a uh, part of, in, I mean, in fire forces in terms of time, there we go, especially. And then at the end, um, in order to maintain it, um, earth, um, have, uh, um, 
the star shines, uh, return the ether to hence it came. And hell, you're going to have to have that with Rebecca. She won't, she, it's already been confirmed. She can't um, have her ether power, but Rebecca returning the ether, you know, you will use up all her ether to, uh, you know, move earth in time forward, which I think is, I think is uh, probably the best thing to do. And then the star shines having to die. The star shines, we got to have some death up in here. We, we do. And I feel like the star shines dying would be the most appropriate. But I'm very curious what you guys um, think of this chapter. What do you guys think of um, how uh, Ziggy basically found himself? I, I really like that. And Mother is mother is Earth in overdrive. It's been like what? A nonstop. So it's been a nonstop overdrive for, um, for Mother. It's very interesting. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Against Inc. Love what we're doing. I want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more Eden Zero content. A few ways you can do that. Diddy to our Cash App, PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.